Welcome to Rocklin Manufacturing Company, located in Sioux City, Iowa, since 1934. Rocklin is an established manufacturer of industrial electronic equipment. The Rocklinizer is capable of depositing tungsten carbide, titanium carbide, and rock hard electrode material on steel surfaces to prevent wear, produce durable gripping surfaces, and for maintenance applications. The Rocklinizer utilizes a spark deposition process that permanently embeds small particles of the electrode material into and on top of the steel work surface. This is done with minimal heat on the workpiece, so the temper of the workpiece is retained. After Rocklinizing, no heat treatment, grinding, or other surface treatment is necessary. Deposits are available from one ten thousandths of an inch to seven thousandths of an inch in a single application and are controllable to within one ten thousandths of an inch by machine settings. The thickness of the deposit is controlled completely by the machine settings and is not a function of how many times the operator goes over an area with the application. Going over an area where a deposit has previously been made will increase the density of the deposit but will not change the thickness of the deposit. This allows the operator to produce very uniform deposits manually. Going over an existing deposit with a higher machine setting will change the deposit thickness to the new setting. Shown here is an M2 high speed steel test bar. The first face has a 5 ten thousandths deposit of tungsten carbide. The second face has a one thousandth deposit of tungsten carbide. The third face has a two thousandths deposit of tungsten carbide. And the fourth face has a seven thousandths deposit impregnation of rock hard electrode material. Setting up the rocklinizer to operate involves connecting it to the appropriate power source. In this case, 110 volts. 220 volt equipment is also available. Then the rotary applicator is connected to the machine by plugging in the cord to the receptacle on the face of the unit. The red ground clip must then be connected to the part which you intend to coat or an optional magnetic ground may be used. Next using the front panel instructions and digital readout on the Rocklinizer model 800, first Set the desired power for deposit thickness. Second, set the desired applicator rotation speed. Third, if you desire, you may establish a preset after setting the power and speed by pushing and holding the preset button for three seconds. Additional presets may be established or changed by repeating the above steps for each preset. The Rocklinizer power and applicator rotation speed are initially factory set at 25, 50, 75, and 100 percent. The display provides a choice of manual or automatic applicator operation. Automatic operation is the normal or default mode when the power unit is turned on. To operate in automatic mode, set the display to auto and the application begins when the electrode comes in contact with the workpiece and continues until contact is removed. To operate in manual mode, set the display to manual and hold the applicator switch when contact is desired with the workpiece. Rockland offers three electrode materials to handle most applications. Tungsten carbide with the green marking, titanium carbide with red marking, and rock hard with blue marking. Tungsten carbide is offered in seven different diameters to fit virtually any wear or fine gripping application. The first four diameters, 1 16th, 3 32nds, 1 8th, 3 16ths of an inch, fit directly into the applicator chuck. The remaining three sizes, which are mini electrodes, 20, 30, and 40 thousandths of an inch, use a small collet style adapter to connect them to the applicator chuck. Using the wrench supplied, hold the shaft 
from turning while hand tightening the desired electrode in the chuck. The chuck may become hot when in use, so caution should be used when hand tightening the electrodes. The tungsten carbide electrodes work well for a variety of surface coating and fine gripping applications. The lighter deposits from one ten thousandths of an inch to about two thousandths of an inch work well for coating surfaces and edges. During application, a very light touch is used so the electrode touches the workpiece with about as much pressure as an artist's paintbrush. The spark gap that is created during the sparking action produces the deposit. Too much pressure will decrease the deposit. The electrode should normally be held at a 30 to 45 degree angle to the workpiece. When rocklinizing edges, the edge should be approached from behind or parallel to the edge while maintaining this 30 to 45 degree angle. Approaching a cutting edge from the front risks the possibility of the electrode climbing up over the edge because of the rotating action of the electrode. This is almost certain to damage the cutting edge. As a general rule, cutting edges are treated only on one face, and normally it is the face where the waste material or chip flows across. Or it may be determined by which face of the cutting edge is ground during resharpening. In this case, you would probably treat the opposite face, so the coating won't be removed during resharpening. Applying the carbide to one face and then regrinding the opposite face allows for the keenest possible edge. Very light deposits on edges can also be obtained by using the side of the electrode. However, this requires an extremely light touch, otherwise there won't be any sparking action or deposit. Since the sparking action is somewhat reduced using this method, the actual deposit will also be slightly less than what the machine setting would indicate. Keep in mind these are general guidelines of what you can expect for deposit thickness on hardened tool steel. Rocklinizing on softer material is okay. However, you may probably experience less buildup and somewhat rougher deposits. Tungsten carbide also works well for a range of gripping surfaces. These deposits generally range from about five ten thousandths of an inch all the way up to four thousandths of an inch depending on the desired texture. The lower settings, of course, are very fine and could be used for such things as surgical and dental instruments. The heavier deposits have a more textured surface and would be more appropriate for tube gripping dies, collets, and to stop slug pull in punching and stamping operations. To stop slug pull, a series of stripes are placed on the inside wall of the die button to grip the slug and prevent it from following the punch back up. The shear area on the die button can also be protected by applying a light coating of tungsten carbide to prevent galling. Minor clearance problems can also be corrected by applying a light layer of tungsten carbide around the periphery of the punch. On all of these applications, the tungsten carbide is permanently bonded to the workpiece. The tungsten carbide actually penetrates the steel surface ensuring that it will not peel or flake like many other coatings. Obviously there is an almost endless list of edges and surfaces which can benefit from the rocklinizing process. Aluminum and zinc die cast dies are another area which can benefit. Areas subject to washout such as gate and vent areas work well and it can also control heat checking, soldering and do parting line repair as well. Titanium carbide is another available electrode material. Titanium carbide is a special use electrode and is used for such things as treating solid carbide tooling and also going back over tungsten carbide deposits. An application of the titanium carbide over tungsten carbide provides a somewhat smoother and more dense deposit. The titanium carbide electrode is available in diameters of 1 16th, 3 30 seconds, 1 8th and 3 16ths of an inch. The rock hard electrode is a heavier deposit material, generally used for buildup and heavier gripping applications. It is only used with a model 800 rock linizer. It provides a rough texture and also is very wear resistant. 
The maximum deposit produces a buildup of approximately seven thousandths of an inch. It has proven to be very popular on collets, pusher pads, feed fingers, chuck jaws, tube clamp dies, holding blocks, etc. The rock hard electrodes are available in two diameters of one eighth and three sixteenths of an inch. The rockalinizer can also be used for general maintenance applications, such as building up between bearing races and a shaft to retain a good press fit. The ability to control deposits to within one ten thousandths of an inch allows close tolerances to be maintained in applications such as this. Rocklinizers are available in three different models. The model 800, demonstrated here, is the largest and most versatile model with a maximum deposit of seven thousandths of an inch. Then there is a model 500, which has a maximum deposit capability of two thousandths of an inch. Both the model 800 and the model 500 rocklinizers have an automatic feature, which, when activated, will automatically start the deposition when the electrode touches the workpiece. And there is a model 380, which has a maximum deposit capability of one thousandths of an inch. Each machine is shipped with two tungsten carbide electrodes, one titanium carbide electrode, and one mini electrode and a mini electrode holder. In addition to these electrodes, the model 800 also comes with one rock hard electrode. The instruction manual and the where to apply, how to apply instructions contain detailed machine operating procedures and applications for the rocklinizer. Typical applications include drills, taps, chasers, end mills, reamers, milling cutters and thread cutters, hobs, punches, dies and shears, tool bits, cutoffs, carbide inserts, form tools, brooches, saws, knives, collets and chucks, seaming chucks and rolls, bearings, and die casting dies and cores. The end result of the rocklinizing surface treatment is to increase productivity and reduce costs. When the tools and dies remain in operation without replacement due to wear, there will be less machine downtime, operator idle time, and the expense of new or resharpened tools and dies. These savings justify the purchase of the rocklinizer.